Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. Well, as the title says everyone, I have two malts in the collection. And if you remember, when I did that tour video, I showed you my Avic uh, Minitrix that freshly malted. And it's been four days since I did that uh, tour video now, which was part one. And um, four or five days, round about a week, that should be perfectly fine for it to give it a feed. So I'm going to do an attempt feeding, as you could say, because... I don't know if she's going to eat or not, but um, we always can give it a try. And I'll show the second malt a little bit later. So uh, let's give my Avic a feed. So everyone, as you can see, I have a nice large Dubia roach there. So she should take this down perfectly fine. And uh, let's give her a feed. So everyone, it doesn't look like that she's that hungry or that interested in the roach at the moment. So I'll leave the roach in there. She might grab it a little bit later. Uh, I decided to uh, take the malt out as well. It's a little bit mangled now because it's been in there for over four days and it's dried up. So it's gone very crispy. So let's go on to the uh, second uh, tarantula that's malted in my collection. So everyone, the uh, second malt in my collection goes to... My Lampropalma via Salopes. I am absolutely really excited with this, everyone. I haven't taken the enclosure off the shelf yet, as you can see. And um, when I did that tour video, I did mention about her, that she hasn't eaten for a while. And I was giving her roaches and locusts and uh, all other sorts of food. And she wasn't eating and her abdomen was going a little bit, um, a little bit dark. So everyone, that was a picture of her before she malted. And as you can see, I circled the abdomen as well to um, just indicate that her abdomen was going very, very dull. So as you can see, I've taken the enclosure off the shelf. So let's have a look at her now. All I have to say, everyone, is oh my God. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. And there she is with her absolutely beautiful, and fantastic colours. All the legs are there, everyone. Uh, two pedipalps at the front, they're all there as well. So she has to be at least around about the five inch mark. And believe it or not, she will actually get twice the size of this. So you're talking probably around from here all the way to about here. So that's a good, probably a good eight, in, nine inches. So she's gonna be absolutely huge. So while I'm here, everyone, let's just uh, take the malt out. So everyone, I'm going to be using my two foot tongs to take out the malt. I don't really want to disturb her too much. I don't want to destroy the malt if I can. And there we go, everyone. So everyone, before I show you the malt, everyone, let's just quickly fill up the water dish, I like to uh, fill up the water dish so the tarantula can have a drink after it's malt because it do, does lo lose a lot of uh, body fluids so let's just give the uh, enclosure a mild spray just lifts up the humidity up a little bit there we go so everybody, there's the malt there and this part here is uh, the carapace, and there's the cluster of eyes just here. And if I just grab the uh, malt and uh, turn it around, there's the fangs just there, fairly big fangs. I'd say they're probably two, three centimetres, so they're fairly big. And if you look at her colours 
on her malt compared to what she looks like now and you can see the huge massive difference if my camera will focus there you go and look how bright she is now compared to her malt how, how dull it looks so yeah what I'll do is now guys I'm going to put this malt in some warm soapy water so it gets the malt nice and soft and I can spread the malt out and uh, and measure the uh, leg span so everyone I've left the malt in some warm soapy water for about 30 seconds or so it doesn't really take that long so this malt's nice and soft now so I'm going to try and spread the malt out if I can without uh, destroying it let's just spread these out a little bit just have to uh, bear with me everyone So I'm just being really careful because I don't really want to uh, destroy it. So I want to uh, measure the uh, leg span as well. So if I just, there we go. Let's just spread these out a little bit for you guys. And I'll put that, that's the carapace that I mentioned earlier. So put that on top. There we go. So that's the the malt there. There we go. And I keep mentioning mentioning the um, the pedipalps, which are these two little legs at the front there. And you've got the clusori. And as I mentioned before, the carapace, the cluster of eyes. So what you do is when you measure a tranchula, you always measure from this leg here all the way across to this one here so let's just get a measuring tape there you go everyone so I've started the tape from here and this it measures oh my god it measures at six inches in leg span so she must be around about the six and a half to seven inches now I thought she was a lot smaller than that so that's how you measure a tranchula from this leg here to the one at the back so yeah, six inches, so that's not too bad. So what I'll do is, guys, as you know, I'll leave her for about, I'll leave her for about 10 days, let her body harden up and let her fangs harden up, and I'll offer her some food. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone.